Hi everybody, Karen Jones here, Sound Illuminations, point of view, point of me.com. I've got lots of pages and a lot of information to share. This is all about the energy of improvisation. These are some discoveries that I've been making on my journey as a jazz singer and as a sound energy healer. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. I think I've always been doing it, even as a singer, there's something that happens to my audiences that uh, transforms them. And, I, and I, I guess this is a gift I've always had. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you've experienced it where you've gone to a concert and you've had this amazing transformation of your mood. Like maybe you went to the concert and you were in a crap mood and then by the end of the concert you were feeling great. Well, I've discovered that there is this like energy that um, people have. It's like a, vi it's a vibration for lack of a better word. It's actually a frequency that each of us carries and our frequency is changing all day. We have like a core frequency, but then we have a whole other dimension to what we're, we're experiencing as we go through our day. Um, some of us get really angry when we see the news nowadays and that has its own frequency. And some of us refuse to get angry and, and ch are choosing other things like maybe being active in the community with politics or whatever it may be. Um, maybe you're tired of being depressed and you decide, you know, I'm angry. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm getting a stepping out of this. All of those choices are uh, frequency changers. And when you change your frequency, um, there's something that happens in your space. And you know it. When you meet someone, um, unless they're really good at pretending, when someone's wearing their, their vibe on their sleeve, so to speak, you can tell when they're just like in a crap mood or they're not really in the mood for talking or whatever it may be. And you know, that is, is I call that your, um, it's, it's called your uh, energetic field, um, the space around you that extends out in all directions. Some people's space, some people's magnetic field is really wide and other people's are really small. Animals have smaller quote unquote zones or electromagnetic fields. And, and what happens is, I think, this is an interpretation of course, because there's really, I don't think that they're, they're starting to measure this electromagnetic field with a, a machine called squid. It measures um, this field. And, and the thing about it is that you can access this field through sound. I mean, just think about it. Sound, as soon as it permeates your uh, immediate zone or your immediate field, you feel it immediately, right? Have you ever been outside and the wind is blowing and you hear chimes? Even just listening to the wind. It's really amazing how sound's uh, capacity to uh, connect uh, on a visceral level is so powerful. I just went to this gong um, demonstration today and it blew me away. And in fact, I'm gonna have, there's a wall here on the side that's gonna have a beautiful gong on it very soon. But other than that, I just wanted to say this thing about improvisation. When I improvise, it's like jumping off of a cliff and you'll see my little elf, elephant e-flyer that I made for this this um, talk today. And um, the, the beauty of of jumping off of a cliff and knowing that you're going to be fine, that you're jumping into this well of energy. I'm going to call it energy because music to me is energy and it really, it vibrates energy and, and, it, and so many different frequencies. I mean, from listening to classical music to listening to music, from listening to, um, uh, let's say pop music, um, the, the number one song, like the song Happy, that was a great song because it literally lifted your vibration. It lifts you, makes you feel better. Anyone who's ever been to a gospel, uh, heard a gospel choir, it's got this lifting frequency. So anyway, um, when I'm improvising, I don't really think. It's not a thought process. And anyone who's done ever done art knows that it's not a thought process. It's not a figuring out. It's like you've got the foundation, jump and just know that you're gonna be in that well of, of different sounds and, 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 and choices that, that really um, explain, explain what is, um, or how do I say this? Not, no, no, translates what you're feeling or what you'd like to communicate through that song. And without words, Oftentimes I'm just scat singing that kind of stuff. I mean, that's not, 
that's like a language in and of itself. Just like every language has its own frequency, each thought or each group of thoughts has its own frequency. So I'm going on and on. What I really want to get to is it's the same thing when I work with bodies and I'm taking a, a tuning fork and I'm, you see my tuning forks behind me. There's one right there. I take my tuning forks and I move it over the body, over this, this field. And in that field is, are the answers to what that person is going through, what they're feeling, what their, what their vibration is. And the, the tuning forks literally just like singing bowls, just like making sound can change a vibe. Uh, in music, it's the same thing with these sounds. Just elongated sounds are amazing. And it's like I, I jump off the cliff and I allow myself to be taken into that space and allow the sound to do what it wants to do. It's really quite remarkable. And if you really want to experience it, you can contact me. I will be attempting to to put this into a book and and also show others or teach others how they can access it as well. I have to thank Access Consciousness, which has helped me um, through um, through their modal through that modality. It's given me a lot of insight. I have a couple of other um, uh, books that I've been reading. Um, uh, Eileen McCusick, who is also wonderful, she has some really valid information, very scientific for those of you who are scientific oriented. And then there's uh, David Hulsey, who has also done uh, a lot of work with. Um, he has his own technique with tuning forks. Uh, there's acutonics, which goes into hospitals and and um, uh, other centers for healing, uh, where people are have addictions or depressed. And this has it's been very very successful. So I invite you to get a sound session. Find someone who does a sound session. If you're in Vegas, give me a call. I'm going to be in Tokyo um, next month. If you happen to be in Tokyo, um, come to the Park Hyatt and uh, and. Uh, Say hello, and um, I'll give you my card, and we'll we'll see if we can set something up. I will be teaching some workshops with them there. So, people, I don't want to go on and on. I know that your attention spans are what they are in this day and age. So have a great day, and don't be afraid to explore what is possible through the amazing tool of sound. Have a great day. Karen Jones, Sound Illuminations, and PointOfViewPointOfMe.com. Mm -hmm.